Hi guys in YouTube land, I'm going to be doing a review on the Chocotastic stand that's offered by our generation and it's sold at Target so I'm really excited about that. Um, I have two dolls, one to be a consumer which is Samantha over here who's a Pleasant Company doll um, and one to be uh, an entrepreneur who actually owns the stand. You could tell that um, I'm really into diversity and doing more with dolls. So I like the fact that she's a dark vinyl doll and that uh, she can be an entrepreneur because with American Girl, I know that they're starting to diversify, but our generation has been doing it for a very long time and I don't get paid uh, to do these videos. I don't get paid by American Girl or our generation. I'm just a regular consumer and buyer and a collector of dolls like everyone else. So um, <laughs> I just wanted to say how happy I am to have Macy the doll modeling it. She's actually used um, as a our generation doll as well, but her name is Macy. And she does um, have a I think it's like a food truck theme to her outfit uh, where she is meant to be one of the dolls offered um, that you can buy for the food truck. So I just moved her over to this little uh, cocoa stand. And so now she can not only be an entrepreneur with a food truck, but she can be an entrepreneur with her hot chocolate stand. And I like the fact that, again, she's African-American. She's a dark vinyl doll. And it shows that our generation is interested in diversifying, um, where I, American Girl, usually they have a lot of African-American dolls featured um, when it comes to singing or dance. And there's nothing wrong with singing and, or dancing, but um, African-Americans, we can also be scientists and doctors and entrepreneurs and um, teachers so I like the fact that with our generation, you get a lot more doll play and you get to use the dolls in any uh, arena that you would like. American Girl does offer dark vinyl dolls as well. But again, if you go on the Our Generation website, it just seems like they do offer more dark vinyl dolls for, um, you know, doctors and um, scientists and other sets that they sell. So uh, I'm just saying <laughs> it's nice to be able to diversify. So I'm glad American Girl will be doing that next year. So hopefully we'll get a lot of different African-American scientists and gardeners and um, ice skaters. So things that they usually do for other dolls, hopefully they'll be able to do for an African-American doll. All right, so... Samantha is going to, again, model what it's like to be a consumer. So let's talk about the stand. The stand is durable. It's hard plastic. It has a little ledge here. And the ledge is usually good for exchanging money or for putting your teacup here. So it's not very wide, but it's still wide enough for you to be able to do a little something. Um, I like the fact that there's this little detailing here where it almost looks like it's mimicking like a wooden stand but then it has these chocolate drippings here which is really good marketing because it's a chocotastic stand so the main theme is chocolate. I like the fact that you can interchange these um, these are interchangeable so right now you can go skating you can go on the ski lift or you can go snow tubing so it gives a lot of directions so you skating's this way ski lift is this way snow tubing is that way so um it's really good for that it has an upper shelf on the interior that you can put like a little chocolate chocolate syrup device up there um, it has a ledge here and I just use this for the cookies because I was running out of space on the inside so this ledge is perfect to feature the cake stand with the cookies and the good thing about the cookies is that they're not clumped together you can take them apart so that's another thing that American Girl has a tendency to do they clump together their cookies or food items 
Um, let's see. Another thing I like about this stand is that it has a really nice feature where if you're a consumer like Samantha is, you can decide what you want to order. And so Macy was smart enough and uh, creative enough where she did all of this fancy stuff for her customer to be able to order what they want. Now, if you're not artistic in any way or you don't have a graphic design degree or no one in your family has a graphic design degree, you're in luck because this is not a regular blackboard um, on the stand. This actually comes with the stand. It's already written on there. And so for me, I would have struggled. I would have struggled to, um, number one, write in small, legible writing. It wouldn't have been this pretty. Um, the, even though I'm really good at drawing, I don't think the drawings would have turned out how I would want it. And when um, the youngest member of my family usually plays with the chalk or the chalkboard, or when I write something nice across the food truck that uh, my youngest has, it usually gets all smudged. And so it doesn't matter how much work and time I put into it, as far as all the details, it will smudge. So I like the fact that this does not smudge if you rub up against it, it's fine. Um, one thing I did notice though, and you guys can let me know, is um, our generation, are the headquarters in California? Because spiced fudge is the first thing offered. And I know that that's popular in Mexico and um, in a lot of Spanish American families, that's how um, some Spanish Americans take their hot chocolate. They usually use cinnamon. And so that was more of a Spanish um, Mexican custom. And so when I studied South American history, I noticed that the first spiced, uh, well, it wasn't really considered spiced hot chocolate. It was just hot chocolate, but they said it had a lot of spices, including cinnamon and something similar to paprika. So that's going to be interesting. All right. And the next thing is classic dark chocolate, peppermint, OG, peanut peanutty hot cocoa and then you have the toppings and extras so I love this feature on the um, stand it is just it really makes the stand stand out I think and it makes it look very authentic okay so this part is also um, very pleasant and very nice where you have the interior so the interior offers a lot more play value. You get three mugs of the tall hot chocolate and you can remove it. So Macy gets a chance to create it from scratch. So there's a lot of play value there. You get the plastic clear saucers to go with the teacups and the teacups, it's the same premise. Macy gets to recreate whatever she's gonna put in the teacup according to the customer's order. And what I like about this is that you, um, by you creating your own doll and making your doll an entrepreneur, she owns the stand. So you can use a little bit of um, economics where there's uh, supply and demand, where if the customer is demanding something, then Macy can go out and and buy it but the best thing about her being an entrepreneur is that she owns the stand she's not just working at the stand she's going to take whatever money that she makes and puts into the stand with all her products and whatever revenue she gets she gets to take home and she gets to put her money in the bank and that's going to be her money that she earned so um, so not only does she work the stand she owns the stand so I do like that you can emphasize that with um, your children when they play with the set or you can yourself pretend that that's something that is happening all right, you can take off the lid and you can add whatever products you want to add to this to make it look more realistic. Maybe if she wants um, to add different spices to it, you can pretend that she's adding different spices. I like the fact that you have a scooper. It's not a rather big scooper, but it still does the trick. You could do the chocolate morsels, marshmallows shaped as hearts, or you could do the peppermint shavings. It also has um, another little tool 
where you could use this to pick up the cookies and it actually bends so you can pick up the cookies with it or you can pick up the marshmallows that are attached with um, a faux pretzel so this is a pretzel stick you have a refrigerator down here that actually opens and it's not a, a working refrigerator everything is fake all the food is fake <laughs> so don't think that this is real it looks real but it's not three percent milk I've never seen three percent milk but there it is and it's organic so they're really selling that so I like the fact that Macy is smart enough to shop organic because she cares about the earth and the environment and she cares about her customers health all right so we also have this storage space here whoops and then you have this little component here where this comes out and it's a crate so you could check the temperature in the crate these are faux buttons fake buttons but with the crate you could put anything you want in the crate you could even go out and buy little cartons of milk and put it in there if you wanted or you could pretend it's a microwave um, so either way this gives you a lot of play value guys I'm really excited about this set it doesn't take up much room so I can easily store it with my other doll stuff um, and it's durable so I really really like it all right guys well again they offer it at um, to the Target store this was under $60 I believe with shipping and so I think with Target, you still get free shipping if it's over a certain amount. So I was really excited about that. All right. So like I said, this is a really affordable set. It gives you lots of play value. And it's really worth it because nowadays, not a lot of doll companies are coming out with affordable sets. So it's nice when you can pick up one. All right. Talk to you later.